I'm part of a group of friends who've been getting together on the second Friday of every month to play Euchre for nearly 20 years. Well, really, we get together to eat, to share the latest scandals, and to solve the world's problems, and Euchre is the excuse we use. It's been pretty much the same eclectic group of guys uh, the whole time. Some have moved away, but the core group is still together. We rotate houses every month and the host provides dinner, but Mark is our resident chef and always treats us with a gourmet dessert of some kind that he's made from scratch. We haven't been able to get together for the past year because of the pandemic. So now that we've all been vaccinated, I offered to resume Euchre Night and host our first session at my place. And most of us haven't seen each other in person for more than a year. We've texted and followed each other's lives on social media. But after a year of pent-up drama, I'm not quite sure what to expect tonight. At least the election's over, but you might think that you're watching an episode of Sorted Lives or, or Desperate Housewives. So stick around. Who knows? Tonight might be a night of killer euchre. How are you? <laughs> Speaking of great. It's great to see you. Hi. So, hey Chad. How you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> it's been it's been over a year since I've seen you, I think, hasn't it? It has been, yeah. Do you remember when the last time was you subbed or? Gosh. Oh, it's well, been we haven't played longer, longer than a year, year so. it's been a year and a half, right? Yeah. It's been that long. 18 months, yeah. Wow. Months. And this is our professional chef that I mentioned in my introduction. <laughs> this is Mark. Hi. <laughs> Papa Petisserie, we call him. <laughs> hey, Rick. I talk to my neighbors when I don't like them. Like, what are we doing? All friggin' sweet. How was the birthday? Good. Good. Uh, had a great birthday yesterday. Good. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, but uh, my friend Ray came over and we spent the Started off with a couple glasses of wine, and then we That's went a good start. to a uh, brew dog for dinner, and um, yeah, it was a great day. So you can film yeah. the birthday yeah. spanking slam. <laughs> okay. Well, I got my big paddle ready oh, upstairs. <laughs> Jimmy, Russell, how are you? Good. Good. How are you doing? Good. Are you, you on uh, Facebook or in so Facebook so jail now or something? Today. Uh, they want me to give them a photocopy of my ID. This is right over the vest. What? Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw oh, it. Oh, right. oh, we, we, it was, it was oh, a double rainbow. Mm -hmm. Yes, we saw that coming. It was oh, yeah. right. Well, we were thinking the end of it was right here on Phil's house, and we were looking for a pot of gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a pot. There's no gold. Oh, there. yeah. There's no yeah. Pot. yeah, I thought I'd get um, some yellow brick. Yellow brick. Yeah. Thought I'd get a little different varieties this time. Yeah. Check them out. <laughs> right. And I will edit, don't worry. Oh, I'm getting a great beach. shot of Chad's bald spot right now, though. Great. <laughs> Did you repaint this room? A long time ago. Yeah, I told you. Go, go. AERP, you can do that. Good. They have a service if that does it for you, or? Oh, AERP, if you're 55 and over, over they will figure your tax out for <coughs> you. All you have to go online, huh. make an appointment. It's much harder this year and last year because of COVID. Yeah. But, because see, I usually, they used to have like um, around Columbus maybe seven or eight locations where you could go. Now they only have two. Okay. Because of COVID. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, can't wait till I'm old enough to join it. Uh huh. Uh -huh right. So, yeah. Yeah. Especially, yeah, for summer season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Greg, what kind of a truck did you get? 2017 Chevy Colorado. Sweet. Whoa. Yeah. I love it. Can it pull the Winnebago just in case? You're a little late. Yeah, I already did. I did. <laughs> did too. Sorry, you're done. <laughs> We're just family concern. You have you know. another room there that can ask us. Game on. Don't look at my cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Exciting game of Euchre. So can somebody explain the game of Euchre? No. For anybody who's watching who may not have it's a Midwest played thing. it before? You don't understand. It's an Ohio thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's true. It's an Ohio thing for sure. You want born here, you can't play. You have the scorecards, right? Yes, I do. Sweet. Yeah. All right, Euchre. Um, <laughs> basically, you everybody gets five cards. How do you spell it? Euchre. E U C H R E. Everyone gets five okay. cards. Okay, not E R. No, R E. 
Everyone gets five cards. And in the middle, there will be five left. And is it a turn, full and deck you're playing with? No, no, no. You only Not play, you personally, but I mean in the game. <laughs> Not me either. You only play with nines and up. Nine, okay. ten, jack, queen, king, ace. That's why I must get low score all the time, because I always think that nines are high. Yes. You no. do. Yeah, okay. Just because you're nine, to get it trumps yeah. everybody else. Nine, nine doesn't is not, mean this trump. Nine is not the big one here. <laughs> so, no, no. Anyway, so everyone gets five cards. Uh, there are five left over. One gets turned up. Okay. okay. Whatever suit that is, everyone has the option to say whether they want it to be that suit, whether they want Trump to be that suit, and Trump is, of course, this, the highest of whatever. Okay. Has everyone gets the, the opportunity to say, I want it that, or, I, or I'll pass, I don't want it that. And you do that based on what's in your hand and whether you can take, you need to take what, a th at least three what are called tricks. And they're not the same as y'all think they are. <laughs> I'm I learned that the hard way. Thanks for explaining. Um, so, you, everybody passes, nobody calls it, then the dealer will turn that card over, and then we go around again, and anyone can call a suit that they want to be Trump. And so what if nobody calls it? And if nobody calls it, then it goes all the way back around, and the dealer gets stuck, and the dealer has to call something. And that's what's called screw the dealer? So that's called screw the dealer. Because the dealer's already refused twice. Right. Yeah, and we don't refuse our dealers three times. Right. <laughs> so, none of these people would be, knows the word no anyway. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. So, once, okay. Trump, once Trump is called, your cards, the highest card in the deck, will be the jack of that suit. Okay. The second highest card will be the jack of the same opposite color. suit. I mean, it's just to say same color, same color, opposite suit. Okay, like black. Or right. <laughs> like and spades those are, and those clubs are called and, okay. the right bower and the left bower. The right bower is the highest, the left bower is the second highest. Which is so discrimination the, against the lefties. The, whatever. We'll so the right that. bower that's is... That's the video. This is the whole of the TED Talk. The right bower is the suit that's been called Trump. Exactly. Okay. And the jack of that suit is the highest card in the deck. Okay. That card will take any card that's laid out. So what's the order of the jack? <laughs> so that, 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 thank you for the question. <laughs> nice the segue, action. right. So the highest cards from the jack of that... So let's call the Trump spades. The jack of spades will be the highest. The Jack of Clubs will be your second highest card. And then you go back to natural order, which will be the Ace of Spades, uh, King of Spades, Queen of Spades. Then you see the Jack, because that's the highest. And then mm -hmm. you go to the Ten of Spades and the Nine of Spades. Okay. After that, if no one has any Trump, then whoever leads, uh, when you go around, whoever puts out a card first and leads, that is the Trump suit of the, of the round. So if no one has any trump, and okay. I were to put it on a diamond, because I'm first, mm -hmm. that makes the diamond the trump suit of that, of that round, hand. Okay. Of that hand. Um, and then and, and the, the order of importance or the order of precedence, it follows a natural order of cards. Then the jacks of that off suit, we'll call it, let's say diamonds, are just jacks. They fall after the queen right. in that order. Okay, so in, in your example, though, mm -hmm. if somebody laid... The Jack of Spades, that's the highest card. It's in Jack, spades or yes. Trump. Mm -hmm. On the, and the then, whole suit. And then Arabic. somebody laid a Jack of Clubs on it. Mm -hmm. The Jack of Spades would still take it. Exactly. Okay. exactly. So, so let's, let's do a pretend round. And let's say I put out an Ace. Uh, we're still calling Spades Trump. I put out an Ace of Hearts. Because I have the lead. I'm mm -hmm. the first one to put out in the hand. I was the first one to put out. You were going there, weren't you? <laughs> we go to the we go to the left. Jim had Jim is going to try and beat my ace of hearts. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an ace of of a, of a suit. So the only thing that can beat it would be the Something jack like of whatever's trump, or the jack of the opposite of trump. So it, the no, ace any of trump, 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 any trump, any trump, trump will anything do. Anything in trump. <laughs> yes. So even the sun, Ivanka even the sun, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tiffany, Baron, Tiffany, Baron, right, right, right. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? We really need to change the name of that, don't we? Yeah. I, I, I will pass. By the way, okay. I will pick that up. By the way, How so you? Jim would have the opportunity to overtake my Ace of Hearts, which would be any of the Trump suit, okay. because the Trump is higher than anything else. If he can't do that, if he has nothing in there, he has to follow with a heart if he has it in his hand, because I have set the standard for that hand. And he would have, if he has no hearts, he can throw off, which would be either a diamond we or a horse. Or a, don't do but if he had a heart and didn't play it, that'd be called reneging? That would be called reneging. 
And what would happen? Well, that, well, that, 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 well that is a, <laughs> it depends on the group you're playing with. With this group, we usually we forgive because we love each other. Yeah. No, but most no, of the time. We do. Most of we do? Right. Yes, we do. Officially. This but is on camera. Oh, officially. This is most of the time, we would have to shut the video right. off. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. So, if, if, but in most groups I've played with, if the, the person reneges, the other team automatically gets, automatically gets two points. Ooh. Ah. We've okay. that house rule, have we? Well, thank you, Greg. That's been very enlightening. Maybe I'll know how to play now after 20 years. After you've beaten me how many times? <laughs> so Greg just explained the rules of Euchre, according to Greg Humphrey. Is there anyone here who'd like to give their version? <laughs> I don't know who that is. What's yours? It's mine. No, who? who it's you. Oh, I played this. Yeah. You played a club. So we are playing stick the deal. Apparently, none of us know how, what's Trump. At the moment. <laughs> what's Trump? Little drama. Spade. 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 And nobody plays Spade, and we all follow the suit. Sweet. All right. Oh, that we pulled that one out of our. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the kit. Okay, tell us how the kitty works. Yeah, I the kit. said we put like $5 in to start with. And yeah. There's eight of us playing. We each put $5 in. Uh -huh. That's a total of $40. Okay, five times. Okay. <laughs> Do the math. Whoever has the high score gets $20. That leaves $20. Whoever gets yeah. the second. Why does the high score get the whole thing? Because that's not what we, we want to spread the wealth. Uh. <laughs> Second highest gets fifteen dollars. That leaves five dollars in the kitty. Ah. And the person with low score, we give them their five dollars back because they've been humiliated already. <laughs> yeah. I've already told everyone that that's usually me. I was gonna say that. But <laughs> I don't see a problem with it because I walk in with the same or uh, yeah, walk, walk out, out with the same amount of money I came in with and we all have fun. Had great right, good food and great conversation. So what about, the, what about the extra dollar you put in every time you get in there? Oh. Yeah. Then we have Thank the new Every time you get euchre, which I just got one, ah. you have to put a dollar in the euchre pot. And what th what does that mean? You got euchre. That means I called Trump, but me and my partner didn't make it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he thought he was going to win the hand, and he did. Actually. Greg so does your does your partner get euchre then too, or just no, just me? Okay. But you see, I got stuck on what Greg called stick the dealer, so or screw the dealer. Yeah. I was the dealer. It came back around to me. I had to call it. So I see. I didn't make. We didn't make uh, our tricks. Okay. So yeah. So you get money for that in the end? Well, no. Well, you pay a dollar for each euchre. Oh, okay. Then it's like every time you say a curse word, you got to put a dollar in the pot, right? Exactly. Yeah. Except we don't do that, do we? No. <laughs> we go broke, I think. Yeah. If right. <laughs> <laughs> then you can go alone. Yeah, you know, you can say, oh, I've got, you can say to yourself, not out loud, uh -huh. oh, I've got five trump, uh, <laughs> trumps, I'm going to go alone. Yeah. And then you t set, tell everybody, I'm going to go alone. Okay. If you get all five tricks, you get four points, and you mark it down on here that you've you got a loner. So at the end of the night, the person with the most loners gets the euchre pot. Okay. And if there's a tie between two people, you just we split, split it. it. Yeah. You get four points for doing loner. Yes. Mm -hmm. You get one point for winning a hand. You can get two if you and your partner take all five tricks. Ah, I see, I see. You have to collect three cards to get one point. And if you take all five tricks as a loner, you get four points there. Yes. Got it. God, after 20 years, you'd think I'd know by now, wouldn't you? Peanut butter cake with Reese's peanut butter cup topping. Mmm, mmm. Cutting of the cake. So is this like a wedding thing where you Get to smash it into somebody's mouth? I'm going to smash it on the lens of that camera. <laughs> that might be a cool effect. That is an amazing cake. So it's a peanut butter cake, right? Peanut butter or chocolate. Ah, so it's a chocolate cake with peanut butter icing, basically? Well, it's or? also a peanut in the cake. In the dough, you mean? In the, yeah. There's a, the batter, I mean? It's a dehydrated peanut butter powder. Oh, cool. In the chocolate cake batter. Yeah. Oh. And then good. also in the icing. Wow. Yum. Oops. Yummy. Yummy. Happy birthday, Rick. Yes, this is a happy birthday. Should we sing for you? No. We should. No, you should not. Yes, we should. No, you should. We should. No, no. We should. Especially yeah. for the show. Got any, got any flamethrowers we can put on top of the candle? Mm -hmm. On top of the cake? I do have some candles. No. 
So, you were originally going to assemble something here? What, what were you going to make? Uh, because of the French chateau thing. Yeah. I was thinking if I wanted to be really ambitious, because I wanted to make one for a couple of years, but I haven't had the occasion. I said, well, this is easy to make a croquem bush. Do you know what that oh, is? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I would say I'd have to do the final assembly here. There's no right, way to carry it in the car. Right. Oh, this looks amazing. Jump in there, Russell. Sip of this. Never get depressed. I think about that lavender one that you did. That was so awesome. <laughs> or the blueberries. Oh yeah. You did yeah. for someone's birthday. Yes. Still, by far, my favorite. I'm thing. trying. I my, my goal is to try to avoid duplicating. You know, never do the same thing twice. I remember the peeps cake. Oh yeah. Oh, that was good. <laughs> Ooh. So riddle me this: Why would somebody go alone? Someone would go alone if they had, if they knew they could take at least three tricks by themselves. Their well, cards were Which high means high. their hand is full of trump, high uh, trump full, cards? Full of trump cards and high trump cards. That. Okay. And maybe two suited. That you could stay in the lead. Take and all maybe the cards. two suited. Yeah. I mean, there, there's a bunch of combinations, but you want to be sure that you can. Club was left. I know. You'd want to be able to control each hand. Yeah. Okay. Wait a second. How did I. You? Lose the last. No, not that one. The one before. Because I threw the ace. I have the. I you threw the game. I have the ace. Ace is what I picked I up. I thought I had the ace. No. no. Ace okay. is what I picked up. All right. All right. Uh, sounds like a little drama here. No, not anymore. Yeah. I, you know, okay. I have a vast collection of. Show me your hand, Chad. Of soft clothes. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you got it clubs, right? Yeah. We are off on our adventure of clubs. You should see what I have at this. This is Chad's partner's hand. I took the first one. Uh huh. Yeah. Who's lead? Go for it. Yeah, I should have gone. Hey, there you go. Yes, yeah. because I had the other eight. The hospital. Oh, no face, no face. Well, voluntarily. For a yeah. while. For okay, the, what's a snow face? Somebody just said a snow face. What is that? It's evil. <laughs> it's evil. And the you devil? It. Mark of the devil? No, no. I did not. <laughs> oh, a snow face, not ace high. <laughs> well, they're both Bacon. evil. <laughs> they're never to be done. Neither. But why ace snow face is, is, why you is when you double cards and you have, one, well, one, you have only one ace and all the rest are nines and tens. Which means you have no other face cards. So okay. Like, a face card being a jack, a queen, or a king. They have so faces because they have faces on them. So you're pathetic and you now, think if you can do shit. If you have two away. aces in that hand, it doesn't count. But if you have one ace and the rest are just nines and tens, okay. then you, you are allowed to throw it back in and say it's no face because there's absolutely no way you can even contribute to it. Even though with the way you play, you could have won that hand. Well, I could have. <laughs> You'd go alone. But an average he would have. happy day. And Matt, tell me what ace high is. <clears throat> Oh, it's it's an evil thing where you don't where you don't want to play Trump. It's chicken shit. So you just choose to pull pull a bullshit so that you can make anything work. <laughs> Jim Jim is usually oh, a master. Yeah, okay, I got that. <laughs> yes. Much So what's the real advantage of going alone? Just a chance to get four points? Because you get four points if you can take if you take the all five tricks. tricks. If you take all five tricks. You take three tricks by yourself, you only get one point. So it's all or nothing, basically. Three tricks. Three or four, three or four tricks in the, after the round are done, you get one more. If you take all, uh, all Even if five. you're playing alone? No, no, no. This is, this is a standard game. Okay, okay. Not going alone. If you're playing with your partner, or if you go alone and you take three tricks or four, you've won the hand, but you only get one point. If you go to a hand and either you and you and your partner take all five, to all, all five tricks, then you get two points. But if you go alone and by yourself you take all five, okay. you get four points. Okay. So what other shows are good? You guys are watching now. Yeah. But not one I can think on top of my head because I just watched so much. It's like all just blends together now. <laughs> That's good. We did we did the call my agent thing. That was very fun. French, but a little. Hot. They were slow enough that you could actually keep up. The French? Yes, it's in French. 
Um, That's probably what I didn't which which Netflix. channel? Netflix. Okay. It's fun. It's, it's um, good. It's good. Yeah, actually, it's well done. And What's it about? They're called Tell Me Your Secret. What's it about? Um, I've heard of agent, that. I mean, agents for actors right. in France. Okay. In Paris. Okay. It's a it's it's high drama in the office more than anything. It's not like spy agent kind of thing. No, 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 no. No, and there's usually like one famous French actor guest star every week. Okay. Or every episode, excuse me. Yeah, check that yeah. out. Well, it's our die old school every week. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody stolen a deal yet or anything? We don't do that. We don't Only do Russ that. Only Russell. What? Oh, I don't do that shit over here. No, this side of town. Oh, that's it. We gotta go first. So typically, like, what is a high score at the end of the game? Around here, twenty. I've been here. Every year, my peak. High score is usually I've seen mid fifties. I've seen mid fifties. I've seen mid fifties. I think we've I think we've had a low sixties before too. Yeah. Yes, I did. We're not talking about the age of the men you go out with. Um, yeah, then, yeah, so uh, uh, mainly mid-50s. Okay. What's your recollection of what low scores look like? <laughs> Ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I know that, that nines aren't the high card, maybe I'll, I'll do better. Oh, that is? <laughs> okay. Matt Gates is going down? He's going down. What's the story there? I haven't really followed the whole thing. Uh, I thought that, that trafficking and prostitution. Underage. I heard something about underage. And one of his associates is close to working out a plea deal. Mm -hmm. The one that Bryce sent him. His and way. his staff, another of oh, his staff members, has resigned. And Republican House people are now starting to call for his resignation. Hmm. And he had asked Trump for a blanket pardon before Trump left office. Uh. And he's, he's uh, guilty as congressman as or senator. <laughs> hmm? Congressman or senator? I forgot. Congressman. congressman. From Florida. Oh, of course. <laughs> so, is there ever any like secret table talk between partners? We don't do that. No, we're honest engines. <laughs> Absolutely. <not>. Really? <laughs> Never, ever, ever. <laughs> That's yours, Bob, right? Okay, Chad, if you say so. <laughs> This group is pretty good. They don't they don't do a lot of table talking. They, if they are, I, I'm not saying it. I think part of it when we, when we play party. I think what happens since we play party euchre here, Phil, is you don't stick with one partner the whole night and get the rhythms of their yeah. playing habits. Uh, that kind of sounds like party euchre to me. <laughs> not sticking with one partner. Yeah, yeah we swing a little, but um. A lot of people play euchre and they always have a consistent better half on the other side of the table. Ah, so okay. You, so I didn't know to, that. So you get to know their habits. Like, yeah. Like we all, we all probably can guess Greg's habits. Who knows? His <laughs> yeah. Partner. You can like read their minds. Right? <laughs> 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 he makes the first time around. Wait, okay. who started the deal? We don't think. We think it was me. So you think? We're real precise in this game. You're not trying to steal a deal, right? I just, no, I thought it was Matt. Because I thought Matt just helped too. No, Bob just. No, we're saying him. we're saying who started the deal, like our round, who started the deal first. Right, right. Because <laughs> we go around twice. <laughs> right. <laughs> so another question here. So somebody has a really good hand and they know it. And they want to go alone, and they really think they can take all tricks. Yeah, that's called loner. Right. Can so can they just? <laughs> do they have to play out every card, or can they just lay down their hand and? No, we we can. You can do a lay down loner as long as. Stick your hand. No. Nobody's gonna see it. Come on, Bob. Come on. You have to ask nicely. Please. Okay. You know you have very lovely hands. So silky. <laughs> what do you use? Second pomada. Right. I was just going to say, well, Madge. <laughs> You're soaking in it. <laughs> Notice he shows the hands again for the camera. Oh, look. Are you a hand model? You are, aren't you? I just have to remember not to hitchhike. <laughs> you know, you see that stupid commercial where the guy loses yeah. his thumb. <laughs> Well, Your modeling that. career is over. <laughs> so, Mark, what happened? 
Me and Russell scored 15 points. 15 points? How did you get 15 points? We cheated. Huh. We, might, we might have actually had more. We, we might have had more, but I just kept forgetting. Tell that. me more, Rick. Well, How did they cheat? Kept on forgetting They're just cheaters. What did they do? What then did we they had, do? We had three loners, so we had at least twelve. Mm -hmm. And I, I forgot to add a couple points, maybe. So we might have actually had sixteen or seven. We, I don't think so. We, yeah, I don't think so. We might have, but it was one of the largest points I think I've ever had. Yeah, this is why we don't wow. let Russell be the scorekeeper. Yeah. I can't even imagine how you can get 15 points to enhance. You don't even do that the whole evening. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's what happens when you deal from the bottom of the deck. Ah, mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. How are we doing here, boys? What are your scores looking like? Oh, yeah, if you're up to 45, you're already 54. <laughs> I'm 54 so yeah, you're like Mark's 54. What do, you, what do you have, Russell? Uh, 50, uh, 43. Bob? I'm not saying. <laughs> you can't get that high? I'm, I'm getting my five dollars back to me. Ah. Let's just say Enjoy he wasn't out of college very long at this age. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, what are you looking like? Uh, I'm between him and him. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thirty something. I had two loaners. I had two loaners. I had two loaners. Lord. Wow. Wow. How many people had two loaners? Three. Four, Man, four, we're talking four, big money four here. Us. Four of you. Four. <laughs> so that's that's a first. That's never, ever, so ever happened. Bob, how many loaners did you have here? None. Any yogurt? No, I need to stand. I have some more. Thanks. I have some more ones. So there's four of you, so you all have to get three bucks? Is that what I heard? Do you need more ones? Yeah, I don't know. One, two, three, four. I had really like, you know, five. For a change. <laughs> Here's five. Yep. There we go. Uh, three, two, three. Yep. Yeah. There's your everyone's loaner monies. Okay. And then who's our grand champion tonight? I get 54. Ooh, you. Sounds like you. Anybody get lower than 46? Yes. Lower than 46? 30. 30? What? There were two seconds later. <laughs> wow. Now you know how it feels, squad. It's hard to do that. <laughs> There were two of us tied for second. And 48. Anybody else 48 or above 48? Okay. Let's see, it's uh, 750. Who's got, can anyone break some coin? <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, I've got a five. Give me two tens for that five and I'll. <laughs> Don't confuse him anymore. <laughs> so anyway, we agreed that it was success tonight. Everybody felt safe, and yeah, good. And where's it going to be in May? Jim's. <laughs> well, boys, thanks so much for uh, being brave and getting it started again. And uh, thank you for hosting. Yeah. Good to see everybody again. And I hope yes. it wasn't too intrusive filming this, but I appreciate your. Uh, your <laughs> support here. Do we, do, we, do we get final approval on all edits? I'll let you know when okay. it's posted. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> this band of brothers, friends for more than 20 years, through marriages and broken relationships, illness and recovery, job advancements and retirements, presidents and pandemics, our bond has survived. That's what friends are for to help get you screaming through the roller coaster of life. Mm -hmm.